Hello, 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 Facebook world. This is Melissa Hartman, but you can also call me hashtag boss Mish. Guys, I am coming to you live because tonight is pizza appetizer night. So if you are tuning in live, can you do me a favor and drop me the number one in the comments below? And hey, if you are uh, watching this as a replay, welcome. Drop me the number two. And if you're new to this broadcast, thanks so much for uh, watching this. Drop me the word new in the comments below. And guys, feel free to tell me where you're coming in from tonight. I would love to know. Now, as you can see, my hat says pizza party. I've got my pizza apron on. So we are taking this pizza stuff seriously. So if you love pizza, you're gonna need to share this video. Uh, share it out, comment the word shared. I'd love to thank you for that later on, but let's begin. The first things first, these are pizza chips. They're delicious, they're delightful. I had to taste test them before we started, so I have some that are done already, okay? You're gonna need a muffin tin because it works beautifully with a muffin tin. You can also use a baking sheet with some parchment paper if you want, but let's just skip that whole step. I've got a muffin tin. Now, the first time I sprayed it, the cheese has grease, so I don't really think we need to spray it, but I'm always like the worry wart, uh, and I usually spray it, but we're not gonna do it this time around. You need to preheat your oven to 375 degrees, okay? All right, so you're also gonna need some Parmesan cheese, you're gonna need some mozzarella cheese. The whole recipe is in the caption, so I'm not gonna sit here and explain this all to you because you guys are smarter than that. I know it, I just know it. Um, so here I have some shredded Parmesan cheese, okay? So you're gonna take about a tablespoon and you're gonna put it in the bottom of the pan. Can you guys see what I'm doing? If you can see what I'm doing, drop me like a three or something in the comments, okay? I'm putting cheese in the bottom of a muffin tin. It is not rocket science, okay? Uh, so this is what you do. Now I'm from Wisconsin. Uh, you guys are supposed to be telling me where you're from. And uh, we like cheese in Wisconsin. Can you believe it? So drop me a cheese emoji in the comments below. If you yourself happen to, it's okay if you don't even live in Wisconsin. It's okay. You can still drop me the cheese emoji. I will allow it. Bonus points if you are from Wisconsin and you love cheese. Come on. Come on. It's got to be good, right? All right. So basically you just keep doing this, okay? Now it says a tablespoon. I made the first ones a little extra, but whatever. So if you were to do this on a baking sheet, you know, just make it into a little mound. Then you're gonna wanna kind of press it down a little bit. My oven is preheating. And then you're gonna take some pepperoni. Now the recipe says mini pepperonis, but this is all I had in my fridge. Thank goodness pepperoni lasts for like ever. This stuff's almost expired, so we're using them up, okay? So you just basically put that right on top. So essentially, this is just covering the base of my little muffin tin here. And then you are going to take your mozzarella cheese. Now it says you only take like a half a tablespoon, but guys, like, do you know how little a half a tablespoon is? Cause it's really, there's really not much cheese to that. So I make it so it at least covers the top of my, uh, of my thing here. I'm gonna back you up. Maybe that'll work. There, you can see a little better. Okay, so you just do this. And if you don't like pizza, then you're probably watching the wrong Facebook Live <laughs> because we love all things pizza. Uh, I did see a recent recipe that someone made like one of those tasty videos for a pizza meatloaf. So if you guys want to see me do a pizza meatloaf, drop me the word meatloaf in the comments below. I'd love to try that one out one of these days and tell you if it's any good or not. Some of those look good and then they're really not so good. Okay, so these are covered. Now, you're gonna take some Italian seasoning, whatever kind you have, preferably with no carbs, would be fantastic. I have like a pampered chef one that's delicious. It's got garlic in it. However, it's like an eighth of a teaspoon has 18,000 carbs probably. So we're just gonna avoid that. This one does not, because it's literally just 
thyme, oregano, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. So I found this recipe in one of our accountability groups that we have. So if you're looking for like new recipes and some motivation, feel free to drop me, I don't know, drop me the word accountability in the comments below and I can get you added if you wanna be a part of that group. But I'm gonna show you guys what these look like. I have some, I'm gonna heat it up for just like 14 milliseconds. Just enough so I can at least eat them because they've been done for a while. So you put them in the oven, you bake them for 12 minutes and it smells delicious. Like your, your mouth is gonna be watering while these are in here because look at these cute little things. Like I don't know if they're supposed to be this thick. I really don't think so because it says pizza chips, but I mean, this is more than a chip, okay? And then you're gonna take some marinara sauce, okay? Now tonight we are using Rouse. Rouse is a very nice low carb uh, marinara sauce that we use for just about everything. Yes, it is expensive, but it's got the least amount of carbs and the great amount of flavor. Um, I can always tell you guys what other um, marinara sauces or pasta sauces there are. If you have questions, you can always send me a message, but essentially they turn into this. So you can see there's like the little pepperoni in there. Oh, don't my nails look good? Whew. Uh, and then you, you can eat them as they're cooled. You can warm them up. You can heat up your marinara. You can eat it cold. Guys, it's pizza. You can eat it cold. You can eat it warm, just like real life. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. This is the best appetizer, appetizer. I'm so excited right now. You don't even know. It's good. Like, I can't even talk. So, if you guys love this recipe, please feel free to drop me a 10. Make sure you share this video. Comment the word shared so I can thank you later. And if you're not already following me, go to this top right hand corner. There's these three cute little buttons you're going to push. You're going to follow me. If you're already following me, then it's going to tell you to unfollow me, which you don't want to ever do because then you'll miss out on these awesome recipes. But hey guys, I love you all. I appreciate you all. Is this why we have aprons? No. This is why we have aprons. Now I can do that. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic evening. My name is Melissa Hartman. You can also call me hashtag boss I will talk to you guys later. Bye.